Hi guys, for today's video, I'm going to make a 1700 recipe from Townsend's and I'm going to cook um, pot roast beef using the Dutch oven, cast iron and here are the ingredients. I've got silver joint beef, I have mushrooms, I'm using the chestnut mushrooms today. I also have some carrots this size don't cut it into small piece so make sure it's um, quite big like this I also have some fresh herbs fresh rosemary and fresh thyme chopped white onions and a whole onions with cloves in just like this I also have some beef stock or beef broth, some salt and pepper, I have some butter, I also have some flour and I've got this English vintage cider. So let's get started. Okay guys, so in your Dutch oven cast iron and once it's hot you need to add your butter in and your beef you roll it into your flour just like this okay and Put it in your cast iron. You will brown your beef. So while I'm browning the beef, guys, I just want to give a massive shout out to Mr. Robert Hall, a friend in Florida, in the US, okay? He gave me this recipe from Townsend. And also, if you have a Townsend book from the 17th century, I'm also using the cast iron that he sent us as a gift. And I'm using the Dutch oven, very good uh, cookware. So if you have a cast iron Dutch oven, it will be brilliant for cooking outdoors or indoors. So I'm using it on my cooker and later on, I'm going to put it in the oven for three hours. Then after that, you will have a fantastic roast dinner. So today is Sunday and I'm going to make a Sunday dinner, but this time it's 17th century dish okay so our beef are now turning brown we're nearly there you've got to be very patient when cooking i know it's going to be delicious and wonderful but be patient guys actually simon wants me to make roast potatoes i love this potato too much so i'm going to make mashed potatoes with it as well as the roast potatoes and that I wish I could have rice with it, but today is Sunday, so I'm going to add in rice on a Sunday. So while you're browning your beef, guys, you make sure you preheat your oven to 160 fan assisted. Uh, we're going to slow cook this pot roast dinner for at least three hours. Okay, guys, so once all the sides are brown, you need to transfer it onto your plate and let it rest there for a minute and we will glaze it with our English vintage cider so I'm going to pour in about a cup or two going to put the beef back in the cast iron just like that some juice and now you have to add in your onions I use one whole onions and one whole onions whole onions with some cloves in so put it all in there some carrots throw 
rosemary, and thyme. Put it on there. And your onions with bones. Put it inside. That will give you beautiful flavor in your dish. Next is your beef broth. smells gorgeous I can smell the cider English cider in it and also don't forget to add in your salt and pepper have a little stir You need to put the lid on. Oh, this is brilliant. The first time I'm using the Dutch oven cast iron all the way from US of A. Thank you, Robert. So now guys, if you want to leave it on the cooker, it's up to you. I preheated the oven to 160 fan assisted and I'm going to slow cook it for three hours at least so I'll show you in a minute when it's cooked I'm gonna put this in the oven careful it's really heavy it's now in the oven right I took it out of the oven and let's check it out oh look at that mmm smells nice so good. Uh, let's flip it over so it will cook evenly. That's really hot, be careful. I set the timer for 3 hours, so I still have 34 minutes left before it's cooked. So let's carry on cooking. Yeah, the house smells gorgeous. What about the mashed potato? After three hours, you can take your beef and put it on the plate and take all the goodies out. And then next we're going to thicken the sauce. I'm gonna add some flour. And if it needs seasoning, you can just add some salt and pepper, not too much because you don't want your dish to be too salty. You want to taste the flavor of the herbs rather than the salt. Okay, so we need to transfer the broth into a jug. And then you need to add some butter add about two to three tablespoons of flour this will thicken the sauce now pour in your broth back in the pan continue stirring you can add your mushrooms followed by the rest of the ingredients put them all back in if the gravy is too thick add a tiny bit of water so I've got 200 ml of water and let it cook for another five minutes in low heat then dinner will be served put the lid back on and wait for another five minutes oh nice and delicious full of flavor 
Okay, now the mushrooms are done. We need to get rid of this big onion with cloves in, as we don't need it there. And get ready to slice the beef. Dinner will be served. You can add some mashed potatoes and roast potatoes, but here in England, my husband is English and my girls want this potato soap. Potatoes are ready and mash. Just need to do some plating up now. And it's done. Slice up the beef. Look at that beef, perfectly cooked. Yeah, you can pour some gravy sauce as much as you like so there you have it guys this is the 17th century 1794 pot roast dinner and this is from Townsend's video and once again a big shout out to Robert for sending me the link and thank you for sending me the cookware cast iron pans Dutch oven skillet and everything and this is our first history dinner absolutely gorgeous i'm going to taste it now the beef is so tender perfectly cooked i want a bit of everything mm. it's really nice full of flavor you can taste the cider, you can taste the fresh herbs, the thyme and rosemary, mm. and that cloves, it tastes gorgeous. Mm. Mushroom. Mm. Mashed potato. So there you have it guys, 1794 pot roast dinner, tastes absolutely delicious and I hope you can try it at home if you haven't got the cast iron uh, Dutch oven pan, uh, just use any pans that you have in your cupboard, that will do but you make sure that you slow cook it and uh, don't miss any flavours especially the cider and onions with cloves and your fresh herbs and of course your beef stock so once again thank you very much for watching i hope you like the video please if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe now and leave us a comment until next time thank you once again kennedy supergirls